this beautiful cake that Stephen has done. Oh. Made the sponge yeah, to the yeah. ice cream. Memories go back right back to Kingston Road and, and Pops Dorford and Kirk yes. and the Turkey at the end there and, and that sort of thing. Uh, so it's lovely to have that continuity of the family right through. And uh, even though names have changed over the years. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Roger. <laughs> so um, I think to be honest, the thing to do is to propose a toast to to Beth, Elizabeth. I'll uh, ask her for a few words afterwards. So, um, draw me, raise your glasses, and Elizabeth. And here we are on my 90th birthday. All together again, and isn't it great to see everyone uh, once more as a family that we could be proud of? I'm not going to say much about the last 10 years, that it's not been very good for me. Many hospital and medical appointments, one new hip with complications I had never had before, uh, two cataract operations, and then something made a nest in my ear. <laughs> I think I was cleaning the car, but I don't know. When they strings it out, they found a rolled up piece of paper and some leaves. <laughs> they were rowan leaves, rowan. <laughs> <laughs> tiny, tiny leaves. Anyway, I had my checkup two days ago and I'm clear. They vacuumed my ear four times. Well, that wasn't really nice. Um, I survived it, and in August, I had a special holiday because I haven't had a good holiday for a few years. A cruise on the Cunard Queen Elizabeth, which was quite an experience. We went to St. Petersburg via Copenhagen, Wunemunde, Tallinn, Helsinki, and Stockholm, which was lovely and a beautiful, elegant ship. But with 2,000 passengers, you saw somebody one day and didn't see them for a week. So. So you, you know, if you made friends, you say, oh, I'll see you on the way out. So 2,000 is rather men, but those liners are made now for two and 3,000 people. I'd rather have a small ship. Um, at last, I saw the inside of the Hermitage Museum, which I missed the last time I was there when it was a communist country. All things were very different then. Um, uh, last time I went to the Summer Palace, so you can't do the two. We have a choice of one or the other. Now, some of the family were unable to make it today for one reason or another, working abroad or time off or long distance. So let's give a thought to Watson family. And a big thank you to Kathy from the USA and Garrett from Geneva, who... who uh, I've made an effort to be here with the whole family. I think that's very good. Please don't think you have to make a donation to the Red Cross, only if you wish to. And thank you for those who already have. You've been most generous. generous. Um, it's not one of my regular charities. I have a few I donate to. Um, I chose this one as when my mum died. I was told she did not have a special interest in any particular charity. But I knew she met regularly with a group of ladies who did sewing and served teas in the of the Red Cross. So it is to remember my mum on my 90th birthday. So thank you everyone for making this a special occasion and to the staff of the Grange Hotel for organizing everything well. A special thank you 
So Pamela and Maggie, who organized and, and did everything, contacted everybody, showed many to raise this gathering. And I've already thanked Stephen for the beautiful cake. And I have a special treat for you. This is my special request to Susanna, who agreed to play her beautiful harp, one of my favorite instruments, for our enjoyment. So Susanna is going to play after we've had our coffee. I hope you all enjoy your meal and the wine. I wish you all a happy and healthy 2014.